All right. Today, we are going to make an attempt at a repair video. Oh boy, and it's going to be a fun one. I uh, put a furnace in for a customer today, and uh, the nice lady on her way out said, Hey, do you want this television? She's like, hey, the picture works just fine, but when you turn it on, it makes a funny noise. I said, sure, I'll take the television. Well, when she said, it makes a funny noise, she was not kidding. Are you ready to hear the worst noise a television has ever made? We go. All right, we figured it out. Listen to this. You know it's an old television when you're still getting snow instead of a blank picture. So, we're gonna take this apart, see what's making that god awful noise, and see if we can fix it. Because this is actually a very nice 40 inch television. Let me get the back off and we'll see. Okay, we're in 400 screws later. <laughs> and I am willing to bet this capacitor right here is going to be our problem. She's going to focus any better than that. We can see she's all wavy on the top. One concern I do have is we're looking a little toasty in this department too. I have that capacitor somewhere, so we're going to do a, an attempt to repair here, but just for grins, we're going to turn it on. Dear God, that sounds scary. That's that cap. I know it's that cap. Stay tuned. All right, so I had a same size capacitor from a different LCD burnout, uh, one that I was unable to actually salvage. Um, problem though. This is my 450 volt, 150 microfarad, just like I need right here. If you're going to please focus for me, there we are. But I'm running into a little bit of an issue. I think I can tuck it in and figure a way to mash it in there. So, we'll go ahead and we'll desolder the old capacitor and slap the new one in there somehow. Uh, hang tight. Okay. While we're waiting for our soldering iron to heat up, take a look at what this did. <laughs> that is freaking wild. She had to have noticed that there was smoke coming out of her television. Um, I don't know if changing just this capacitor is going to fix it just by looking at that mark. But uh, this is... I don't see any 
anything that's burnt up on here be on the back to it that would match that nasty burn pattern. So we're gonna go ahead, get this guy out, get the new one in there, and we'll see if this actually fixes it. All right, are you ready for my shit soldering in all of its glory? Da 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 da. -da. There we are. She's in place. She's snug. She's not going anywhere. I got a little bit of a clearance issue. I think we'll be okay. Let's go put this in and see what happens, huh? How awesome would that be if this actually fixes it? Alright. Everything is put back in. Uh, I do have this microwave tray covering that board because I'm not sure if the capacitor itself was the problem or if there was another problem that caused the capacitor to go. Uh, so putting a new capacitor in there hopefully it doesn't blow up in my face. Let's plug it in. What do you think? Are we gonna get it here? Stand back. No terrible noise. It looks like we're lit up. Yes, we're definitely lit up. I think we got it. Let me put this pig back together. Okay. Well, 400 screws later, everything is put back together. I got the HDMI plugged into it. Let's power it up, huh? Oh, we're still on snow because of that, huh? Bear with me one second while I change the damn inputs. Input. Oh shit. Hold on. No, I'll do it live. Input. Menu? Uh oh, we might be in an issue where I need a remote. Hand, stand by. All right, sorry you missed the big moment of truth there. Well, minus the fact that it's 720p and I don't have a remote. I will call that a score and a half. That is absolutely awesome. The way I see that, that's a free television. <laughs> and I will take that all day long. Now, I'll turn that off really quick. Just so you know, this is an insignia. Uh, Model number is, I'll read it, NSLCD37. Yeah, the light's really shitty here. There she is. 720p, 37 inch screen television. Um, not bad. All right, well, I think I earned myself a beer. Here is what caused it all. Just cheap capacitors. And now, I don't want to preach, but 
This is why you always, 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 always save your components. Anytime I get my hands on a circuit board, I, I either desolder the components right off of it, right then and there, or it winds up in a box full of circuit boards. It's flyback from a TV. Just boards on top of boards. You never know when a free television might be laying around and all it needs is just a capacitor that you've... Well, I... I like to desolder. So, I have already desoldered all kinds of capacitors and just have a drawer full of them. But, this... I don't know. I got a good, a good self sense of accomplishment on this one. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Cheers. I'll see you in the next video.